Uh, hi, my name's Amy. Welcome to my Honda Element setup. Um, I designed this setup mainly for short camping trips or having a nice place to um, hang out, read, um, work a little bit uh, when I was in transit going from one place to the next. So you can see the this bed platform is uh, quite a bit lower than um, I think what's more common. Um, so. Sit up really straight, um, use a laptop, and I wanted a thick cushion. So there's definitely a compromise here for uh, storage space, uh, but so far I really like it. It's really easy to use, and um, yeah, let me show you how it all goes together. Uh, both the shelf and the bed are held in by two turn buckles each. Here's one um, that are anchored to these uh, attachment points that the element already has. There's two at the back of the vehicle and then two more closer to um, the middle of the vehicle. Uh, for both the bed and the shelf, um, I was able to get these like pretty nice fitting contours. Um, and I did that by uh, iteratively tracing and trimming cardboard pieces um, until the fit was was good um, and then I just used those pieces as uh, as templates for um, tracing the plywood before I cut it there's that other turn buckle okay uh, this is a close-up view of the bed frame um, it's a pretty simple rectangular bed frame except it has these funny looking pieces here to just bridge the gap. Um, there's also another funny shaped patch there. Uh, not sure it's totally necessary, but at least in this area it's nice to have the extra support for the mattress. Um, the pull-out frame is split into two halves. Um, so that expands all the way out. The mattress can fill all the way up to the shelf. Um, and then this is separate, mostly because it's easier to stand here and open one um, and then stand somewhere else and open the second one. Uh, and also, uh, because where I'm sitting now, I could put a cooler if I wanted to. And so if uh, it's just me, one person with a cooler, um, I can set up the bed on this side and then just have the cooler over here and not, not pull uh, this section out. Uh, the mattress is actually just a four inch foam mattress I bought off Amazon. Um, this is the mattress cover that it came with. I cut everything to shape. I just used the same cardboard template for the wood um, on the mattress to get the shapes to match. And then again, the same templates to make these uh, custom fitted sheets. These curtains are one of the first things I added to the vehicle uh, just because they were so easy. Um, I put a hook directly into the trim on either side and this elastic cord um, serves as the curtain rod and I don't know if they're necessarily the best curtains in terms of light sealing or, um, or thermal sealing but they were really easy to put in and they're really quick and easy to use. Um, for these, these windows, uh, sometimes I like to have these open when I'm sleeping and so for the bug netting, I again uh, carefully traced a piece of cardboard, kind of trimmed it to get it to the right shape, and used that to cut out this piece of mesh. I reinforced the edges with duct tape and then just sewed a Velcro strip to it. And so um, normally I just do that, and that keeps the bugs out. Okay, uh, sorry for the weird angle. Um, this is looking up at the moon roof. Um, usually it gets crazy hot with this open, so I normally put one of these in and uh, 
for years I just used a plastic clip like this on each side and shoved the edge of it into the, the gasket here. Um, and one, on, one of these on each side does a really great job of, of keeping the sky in. Um, but recently I've been thinking about a more fun use of that space. And so this is my latest addition. Um, it still uses the same concept to keep it in place. So I've got plastic tabs here that I can rotate into place. That locks the frame in and allows me to put an iPad in like that. And I can be really lazy and watch movies while laying down. <laughs>